Welcome back, one and all, Finite Streams, Tears of the Kingdom. On today's episode, Misko's Treasure. I have decided on the list of things to do, and we are going to go and jump straight into it. We are jumping straight into it. We need to go to this red marker, because I do believe there is a cave right over here by Cephalo Lake that will have lots of things for us to do. The hero of fashion is back, baby, and hopefully everything will get better. Yeah, I... I probably saw this before, but I completely missed this cave. Well, you know, it's fine. It's a doggo. Wonderful doggo. Love the pupperino. Oh, can I have that? Yes. Where? Where's my sword? I need a weapon. I need a weapon. Uh, Silver Lionel Reaper. No. Oh, my bouncy broadsword. Of course. How could I forget that? Do I have any other, like, actually good weapons? I need to fuse my weapons with stuff. Let's do... I really like that. I'm still not over the fact that you can use a shield with the broadsword and make it work. Is there a book around here that'll tell me what I'm doing? Or maybe maybe I should just feed the dog. Let me get some meat so I can feed the dog. Five whole bits of steak. Here, you're going to eat well tonight, doggo. I shall name you Joshua. Until I am reliably formed of, informed otherwise, the dog is now named Joshua. Enjoy... Your wonderful prime rib, Joshua. Do you enjoy it? Are you having fun? How many Koroks do I have? Ooh, Koroks. I think I have around 300. Can I check on the menu? I have 62 in here. We'll, we'll check on the next time I get a pause screen. I think I have like 300, 350. I still have to get a lot more between streams because that's when I do it. But I haven't been really dedicating my time specifically to Korok hunting. But once we, uh, once... Well, again, that'll happen between streams. So maybe one of these days, I'll just be like, oh, I have gotten all of the Koroks, and everyone can be extremely surprised. But until that day comes, we're not gonna worry about it. Right now, we're going to follow this dog. Oh, ha oh, actual people. Should probably talk to these people. You're Domadak. Oh, I really thought we'd found it, too. Pressin'. Who knows how long it would take to open all of those one by one. What are we talking about? Boxes? Is there stuff inside that's openable? My arms are tired just thinking about it. In every single chest we open, we find the same thing. A green rupee. It's like they're messing with us. I mean, if there's a bunch of chests in there, and they're all filled with green rupees, I will take them. I, I will I will nickel and dime every bit of ancient treasure. Give it all to me. What's... what's give me the specifics. Hmm? Shish, prishin, hish up. Hush up. Give me your knowledge. Hey, buddy, don't you have anything better to do than eavesdrop on us? Do I look like a person who drops eaves? I, I, I would never be so garish as to eavesdrop on a conversation between two individuals. There is no evidence of me ever doing that. You have the same type of color shirt that I do. What's your deal? Wait, don't tell me. You came into this cave to find Misko's treasure too? I've found several bits of Misko's treasure and you have no idea how capable I am of solving puzzles. Uh -huh. Person, don't just say that. Shut up. Ah. Uh, I mentioned Misko's treasure, didn't I? Oh, sorry, Dak. Have we seen you guys before? Were you in the, um, the, 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 the Dueling Peaks stable in the first game? Did you pay me money to go find a cave? I think you're the same people. Ugh, oh, whatever. No sense in trying to hide it now. Misko is the name of an infamous bandit who caused problems all over Hyrule back in the day. But Misko's legend expands beyond mere banditry. You see, Misko is equally famous for fashion. Oh, man, a man after my own heart. A man after my own heart. I do love fashion. I am the hero of fashion, after all. The stories say that they spent a lifetime collecting clothes. Clothes that are now hidden all across Hyrule. Oh. We suspect that Misko's wardrobe might be in the caves that were exposed during the upheaval. How he got into those caves before the upheaval, no one knows. Some say he was very good with a pickaxe and shovel, and he just dug the entire caves himself. Others say he, uh, he knew a magma back in the day. They're all drinking buddies, but others yet still say he just stumbled upon different entrances. We're probably going to, uh, find those caves ourselves. Speaking of... And we got here first, so if you're thinking of swooping in and snatching those duds, think again. Do I look like a kind of person who would, like, totally steal your clothes out from underneath you? Not at all. There's no way he'll be able to find Misko's treasure in that sea of chests. 
There's nothing to worry about, Dak. Mmm, uh... you've got a point. Yeah, yeah, okay, listen up, you. You got our permission to go into that cave. If seasoned treasure hunters like us couldn't find it, you're not about to fare any better. Not unless you got a nose like a dog that can sniff out the treasure. Would you look at this? I wonder what my time-frozen friend thinks about that statement. Oh. That's it, Dak. Let's give the dog some food or something to get it to like us, and then it'll lead us to the treasure. Oh. Way ahead of you. I was being sarcastic, prison. Ah. Oh, sorry, Dak. Well, you two can sit tight. I'm gonna take this dog. Misko's Cave of Trest Chests. We have to find the frog in here as well. Does the kingdom really fell off? I mean, I feel like when it comes to that kind of stuff, there's always like an initial hype time frame. Oh, Reed, you put that away. Don't frighten the dog. There's probably always going to be like some level of initial hype to a new release, especially when it comes to like the big AAA titles like Nintendo games and like the Sony Xbox games. Like, I feel like the next biggest thing... Well, it wasn't Bethesda's Starfield that's coming out relatively quickly. Or soon-ish. I feel like that's going to have a really big initial push. Baldur's Gate 3. I know that that was a new one that just came out. And everyone's playing that. I feel like Tears of the Kingdom, as like more of the niche community starts to build up around it, like all of the speed runs and the challenge runs and everything like that, I feel like it'll... It'll have a consistent presence. Oh, you want that one. Good dog. Oh, wow. There's a lot more than I thought. But I will... You could probably just do all of this. Ember trousers? Used in ancient rituals, this item is made of heat-absorbing cloth that produces flames in high-temperature environments. That'll be good for the desert at the very least. Whoa, hey, what'd you do? I uh, took a thing out of the ground and found some pants. I, and I mean, you know, I love pants as much as the next guy. Like, I I probably love pants more than the next guy. Because, like, I, I can't think of anything that I love more than pants. No way, there are like a million chests in here. How did you know? I followed the scent of the pants. They have a very unique scent. The odor can be tracked by a mile a, a mile away, by a bloodhound. I, I followed my nose. Okay, yeah, we tailed you. I admit, but I never thought you'd actually find it. Well, that's, that's what you get for doubting the hero of fashion. We've been hunting treasure long enough to know the rules. Finders keepers. We're not going to try and take it from you. You would die if you tried. Uh... Yeah, no matter how cool it is. I mean, a pair of pants. Gotta love a good pair of pants. So jealous. Oh, I would be jealous if someone else found a pair of pants. Are there any treasures left in there? I mean, you can have the money if you want. You know what? I'm just going to look for myself. Out of the way. Oh, in the chest? There's only ever one thing per thing. Hmm. Treasure, are you in there? Ha ha. Uh. Oh, darn. It's just regular old bottle. A regular old bottle? It's massive. Can I have it? Oh. I don't think we'll find anything else around here. Come on, prison. Let's go find ourselves another cave. Ah. You got it, Dak. We'll go find the rest of the treasure ourselves. Or is that all that there is? We'll read the bottle. Are links allowed? Links should be allowed, as long as it's not, like, you know, misleading or spam or anything like that. But, yeah, they should they should be allowed. Do you have found my treasure? These ember trousers are but one piece of my grand collection. I have hidden an assortment of equipment across Hyrule. Notable pieces obtained in strange lands near and far. You've done well to find this one, and I will reward you with a hint to another. The Fierce Deity Sword. I believe I already have that piece of equipment. Don the form of the Fierce Deity and return to this place. There are three keys you will need. One beneath the bedchamber of Akala's Red Crown Citadel. One in the Skull's Left Eye and one in an old stump in Hyrule Field. Uh, uh, puzzles. Oh, do I, is this a quest? Oh, is this Miss Ghost Treasures the Fierce Deity? Because I have a list of quests and I bet this is this one. Good luck, the great bandit Misko. Misko's treasure, the fierce deity. All right, that's what we're doing. The message from the bandit. Don the form of the fierce deity and return to this place. I wonder, I wonder if I can cheese this with amiibo equipment. Can I just, um... 
Oh my god, I absolutely can. Ha <laughs> ha! You fool, Misko, you did not account for ancient gods gifting me with wonderful gifts from the sky in the form of clothes and pants. I don't need to do anything. Although I probably still have to complete the chest, or quest. Ugh. What are you actually gonna give me? Oh, the Fierce Deity Sword. I don't even need this. I've had this since like the beginning of the game. Uh, get rid of Grudo Spear, I guess. Oh boy, do I actually? Okay, well, I cheated. I may have, I may have done it a bit out of order, but that's fine. We can now, now we have to go. You found one piece of the Fierce Deity armor. Now we have to go find two more. Where did we get the other one? There are three keys. One beneath the bedchamber of Akala's red crown citadel. One in the skull's left eye. We did the one in the skull's left eye. And one in an old stump in Hyrule Field. The bedchamber of Akala's red crowned citadel. Okay, so the Akala citadel. Where? It's over here. This is the Akala citadel. And we did, we did the fierce deity. Or did we do it in here? Did we get the chest in the left eye? Because this is the chasm, but we did the Skull Lake Cave. Left eye. I is it the Skull's left eye? Because if it's the Skull's left eye, it's this one. Oh, no. The bedchamber of Akala's red-crowned citadel. One in the skull's left eye. Stump in Hyrule Field. All right, I know we haven't gotten the one at the stump of Hyrule Field. So it's probably here, I would say. So let's let's go check out Mount Daphne's and the uh, ancient stump over here and see if we can't find any any hide or t tail hide nor tail clues to hopefully fierce deity pants. I mean, we could sell them if we find them. We don't need to. So I remember I remember this used to be invaded by monsters before. No, not shields. Put that away. If we're over here, if we're over here, I will get I will get the Koroks. I'll get the Koroks. Ya ha ha. We have a lot of Koroks. So what is over here? Is this Oh, there's got to be another uh please leave the chew jellies alone. We do not need them. This has got to be... No, really? I would have thought that this would have been another Korok puzzle, but apparently not. So keep your eyes peeled for a cave. There's almost certainly another cave around here. Maybe in the actual stump. Ancient tree stump. Oh, yep, there's the cave. One of the fierce deities is in here. Oh, they're full of things. Ancient tree stump cave. How are we ever going to find everything in here? Oh, this is going to be a massive pain. I suppose we can just go by area by area until we find everything. Cause we need we need the bubble frog and Misko's treasure. Oh. And that's the bubble frog. Good for us. Wonderful, wonderful. Alright, so that's that. Now we just need to find Misko's treasure. Wherever that may be. Oh, it's probably if I were a treasure. I would be behind the area. Can you just please leave me alone, Bat? Would would any of you people be willing to fight the things? It's probably in here. Maybe up a bit? Probably up the, the, the tree stump. Because we are technically under a tree stump, so the, root, the fact that there are plenty of roots, it does track. Oh no, oh no, please don't fall. Oh, uh, well, there's a landing over here. Is this a cave? Um, can we just... Are we going to go up into the water, or are we going to stay in the cave? Nope, I don't want to go out. I need to stay, I need to stay in the cave. Probably need to go up a bit further. Oh, the bats. Oh, the bats. Leave me alone. Go over. Go over. Oh, I heard a lizard. That doesn't matter. I mean, it is what it is. It's probably... 
Oh, it's certainly up there. Oh, it's almost... Yeah, that's what these little alcoves are for. They'll be like, oh, you need to... You need to catch your breath? That's understandable. It's almost certainly up here. It's gotta be, like, right up here. Oh, yep, there it is. I knew it. I knew it. That is where I would've put one. And that is where they put one. Give it to me. Fierce deity boots. Hell yeah, more pants. Not that I really need those, but, you know, it's fine. So that's... That's number two. I mean, I suppose we could check... I am 99% certain that the one that we found was in the Skull Cavern Eye. But I mean, I suppose I could technically be wrong. Under the bed chambers of the Red Crowned Citadel. So it's got to be the Citadel in Akala, right? So I suppose I can do a quick check of the caves underneath the Citadel and see if that's in there. Get inside before we get struck by lightning. A call of Citadel Ruins Cave. I feel like... I feel like I've explored this area. Because that, that leads us up to the other end of this. Maybe I was just oblivious and missed the Misko's treasure. I mean, it, it's possible. I would even go so far as to say that it's likely. Because wasn't there... Wasn't there... Wasn't there a cave... Like, up at the top. I have vague memories of there being... Yeah, this cave. Or was this where the bubble frog was? I believe this is where the bubble frog was. So I wonder... Because that's, that's the area that we just... Ow, leap. Ow, how dare you? So rude. Don't you know who I am? Leave me alone. Because that wasn't... That wasn't the area. I didn't see any indications of Misko's treasure. Maybe... Because there was that chest, but that's not super important. Because I believe these are just, you know, weapons, right? Yeah, it's just a broadsword halberd. We don't need those. That's the cave that we were at. Throwing more rocks, leave me alone. No other secret areas. Ow. Leave me alone. Yeah, I don't I don't think that this is Okay, so if maybe is there another cave that I just missed? I mean, I suppose that's, you know, you know, all but guaranteed that this is a big place. It could just be that I missed or I went into the wrong cave. It would be under the bed chambers, but I have that doesn't that doesn't mean anything. That hell that holds no meaning to my my brain. Eyes peeled for caves, because it's not in I mean we can check down there. Is there a cave anywhere around here? It doesn't look like it. Cause that's just nonsense area. And that's where it was. Let's check really quick down. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Where, where, where is it? Oh, there's my thing. Landed perfectly. No, Tula, put that away. Link, Link, why do you, why do you insist? Why do you insist on being this way, Link? Link, Link, why do you insist? Let's just check really quick along the bottom of this area specifically. It doesn't look like anything. It does not look like there are anything at all. All right, let me just let me just look at the map because I do have maps for this. Okay, I have the coordinates and that's about what's important at this moment. Okay, so where it's 3282. Okay, 3282 and then 1495. So in this direction. So it's, oh, it's probably, it's actually probably inside one of these buildings. Is this the thing that they were talking about? Oh, this is what they were talking about. Okay, okay. Oh, and that's, look at this. We're right here. Okay, that took no time at all. 
So we found the Summit's Cave, which is neat. Under the bedroom, of course. Fierce deity armor. How could I forget? This is wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. All right, so that is... That's that quest. So can we get more? I feel like there might be more in that Cephala Lake cave because there are a lot more things on the map or on my quest log. Where is the thing? Fierce Deity, Fierce Deity quest removed. And then let's also go in here because we do need to find the bubble frog. And we found the bubble frog. So that's good, nice and simple. Okay, so now that that is out of the way, let's go... Let's go back to Cephala Cave, I guess. I feel like that's the goal. Oh, because we never... We didn't We didn't even get the bubble frog in that cave as well. Oh, you have more quests, don't you? I think I've narrowed down where those old manuscripts could be referring to. Yeah, I'm sure of it. Way to go, Dak. You're a genius. Hmm? Sorry? What? Oh, it's just me. I found all of the, the clothing. Do you want to buy it? I'd sell it for the low, low price of a thousand rupees. Come on, can we have one brotherly conversation without you listening in? No, I am the master of eavesdropping. I drop all of the eaves. Yeah, we're not going to tell you one word about the bandit Misko's old manuscripts. Person, why? Why would you say that? I did it again, didn't I? Oh, I'm sorry, Dak. Ugh, it's fine. The treasure is as good as ours, and this guy'd never work out the riddles, even if we told him. Give me riddles. I am the riddle master. Hey, buddy, want me to tell you what the manuscript said? Heck yeah. Give. <laughs> Thing is, I'm not about to give you that info up for free. It'll run you $100. I've got 200 so you have a deal. Pleasure doing business with you. Trust me, that was a steal. If you want to find the treasure, it'll be worth way more than a measly 100 rupees. There are three manuscripts. What do you want to hear? Ooh, the twins, the pirate cavern, or the heroine statues. Ooh, uh, let's just work our way down, I guess. The twins. Oh. What is this, Terraria? All right, then. I discovered the green clothes of a man who admired fairies and have hidden them away. Solve my riddles to find them anew. Oh, the, the Tingle Fairy outfit. <laughs> I've already found that, coincidentally. In West Nakluda stands twins, poised, poised to duel. Each contains a cavern that faces the other. This is the twin caves with the triangle on the ceiling and all of the switches in the other cave that we already figured out. Show the little twin sign to the big twin to open the door to my treasure. Oh. That's what it says. I've already found that, coincidentally. You did? You're kidding me? Huh? I've been using it for quite a long time. You mean it? Never thought you'd go and find it before we did. Without even having the riddle to work off of. Man, you are a true treasure hunter. I admit, that kind of stings, but so be it. You already paid for it, so whatever. And there are probably other treasures out there. Yeah, and we'll get the next one. You'll see. Okay, is that Twins Manuscript? Neat. Another one Another one to take off. So we can we can probably do all of those in a minute. Okay, Domadak, do you have any more? Can I have more news? Dak, the guy's back. He never left. Please get rid of him. What is it? Want me to tell you what another manuscript said? Or do you want me to refresh your memory? Tell me a new one. You know the deal. It's 100 rupees per manuscript. Cough him up. You got a deal. All right, so this I need to find. Okay, I need... In a perfect world, I would get a clue that I don't actually have so I can have a reason to go off and sell some stuff to get more money for this. Heroin statues. I already did the heroin statues because that's... I probably did the Pirate Cavern as well, because that was... Oh, because I remember... P Pirate Cavern. Pirate Cavern. Give me this one. Sure thing. Listen close. I discovered the green clothes of a man who admired fairies, and have hidden them away, so I have my riddle to find them anew. A forgotten pirate caves lurks at the foot of Cape Callas, overlooking the Nakluda Sea. The short, shrill song of wind through lips will open the way to my treasure. That's it. If you recall, when we did our own hunt, I'm like, I have no idea what to do. Please give me a subtle clue. And then someone in the chat just said horse. And I'm like, oh, you have to whistle. This is honestly a much more 
a uh, riddle type of clue. The short, shrill song of wind through lips. And I'll be like, oh, it's still whistling, but um, I understand how they'd expect you to solve the puzzle. So, uh, yeah, I already have this one as well. Sorry to disappoint you. I've already found all of Tingle's fairy clothes. Uh -huh. You mean it? You never thought you'd go and find it before we did. I admit that kind of stings, but so be it. We're going to get more. We've already conned you out of your money. All right, I need to go... Wait, there is there is the bubble frog. Uh, let me let me go. Let's quick check. Quick, quick check to see if we can't find... Uh, that's gonna. This is actually going to lead us away from the cave, believe it or not. I don't know why you'd be surprised about that. Probably not. You probably aren't surprised, but it's fine. Tis beeth quite fine. Hello, doggos, you wonderful creatures. Where is Beetle? Beetle! Beetle, Beetle! Jora? Ah, oh, finally. I look like a real survey team member now that I can dress again. You see, I have a best buddy, Dilly, who I usually travel everywhere with, and he came out here with me. But somewhere along the way, I lost track of him. Well, I mean, I actually lost sight of the guy. We were around Rebonet Bridge when it happened. That's near Wetland Stable, kind of southwest of here. Suddenly, just gone. If you see him, do me a favor, huh? Tell him he's got me worried. Well, if we find him, where is, where is the dude with the backpack? Beetle. Beetle. Why are you all the way over there? Don't you know it's dangerous? Isn't there like a witz robe? Pretty close to this area? Beetle, I need you to buy some pants. Well, actually, I really, I'm not sure if I want to sell you. I don't know if I want to sell you my pants. Uh, no, I'm not giving you any of my stuff. I'm not giving you any of my beetles. Stop planning my assassination. Look what I've got. I have pants. No, I don't have... Well, I do have pants, but you're not getting them. You may have anything other than the pants. Do we need to find other things? Probably should put those on. We need to find more of those. And then the other one. And then we need to find the zoanite thing. There's lots of things. Lots of things to try and find. Um, Fierce deity. Fierce deity. Fierce deity armor. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I want to get rid of the pants. Don't I have a second pair? A second? Yeah, I have two pairs of. Yeah, I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna get rid of. I'm not gonna get rid of any extra pants that we have. Yay. I'll keep all of the pants, but you know, six hundred dollars is pretty nice. Beetle, thank you for buying the god armor of this shirt. It's rather helpful. Oh, Addison, have I never helped you over here? I can't believe I never helped you. Let me let me get right on that, because I mean twenty dollars. I'll definitely take it. Yeah, right in there like that. That way, it will not possibly be able to fall. Yeah, there, as long as you wait like six seconds, Addison, it'll stay steady, I swear. Putting Hudson, try letting go. It'll it'll stay steady. It, it's perfectly fine. You just got to give it a second. Yeah, that's exactly what you'd expect. He's standing. That was brilliant. I'd have never thought of it. Let's get him secured. Good old Hudson. Once we do all of the Misco stuff, we're going to Terrytown to do some go-kart. Go-kart racing. How did you... Yeah, $20, that's good. The rice balls, thanks. And then sleep over... I don't need those. I'm trying I'm trying to judge your, your craftsmanship. And wow, this is an atrociously standing... I mean, like, look at this. Addison, you really need to get, like, a higher kind of professional standard. Because that's just atrocious. That's just atrocious, Addison. Anyway, let's get back in that cave. Or, well, now that we have the money, we can get the third clue of the Tingle outfit. And then we can check out that cave really quick. Oh, right, stamina. I have to worry about the stamina because Link is a tired boy. He does so much. Okay, I have enough money. Give me the last clue. It's for the heroine statue and we needed to do the light. What is it? Want me to tell you what another script said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the new one. Give me the last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More money. It's the last one. Listen up and focus. I discovered the green clothes of a man who loved fairies. And I don't mean just casually. He loved the fairies. He loved fairies. And he hid away his clothes. His fairy loving clothes. If you want to find them, you got to go to this desert of the eight heroine statues in the desert and enter the valley car carved into Hamar's descent and shine the light of the day upon the towering eighth. The path to the treasure will open before you. Oh. 
That probably also would have clued me into the solution to the puzzle so I didn't have to spend like 40 minutes on it. But, you know, sometimes, sometimes you know, the puzzles, if you don't actually know what the puzzle is, you could be like, oh, what are we doing? I don't know, because this was before we did the Sand Temple. So I didn't know any, 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 of, the, any of the mechanics. But, yeah, I already, I already did it all. I admit that that kind of stings, but, you know, more treasures. What should we do next, Dak? Hold on, I'm thinking. Listen, you, that's the last morsel of information you're getting out of us. Is it? It's probably not. I can almost guarantee you that it isn't. So let's mark those off of the quest. There's Misko's Treasure of Awakenings, number one. So let me... Where do I have to go to start this? You need to clear the Garonby River Cave in the western part of Elden. Garonby River Cave. All right, west part of Elden. This is Elden, and the west is over here, and Garonby River. Garonby River. All right, so Garonby River Cave. There's pro We'll go along the Garonby River and look for caves and see, because that's probably where we need to go. Llama Lord, hey, hey, indeed. Welcome, welcome. We're just finding some clothes. We found pants. We found, like, here, check out check out this new pair of pants that we found. I want to actually put it on. Where are my pants? Where are the new pants? This one. We got some ember trousers. They'll make all of our stuff really hot and spicy if it's really hot and spicy out, but, you know. Love me some pants. Because there's nothing else in here. Except for apparently a bubble frog. We need to find a bubble frog. Because now that we're in here, I'm not I'm not I'm not abandoning the bubble frog. What is this bottle? You have done well to solve my riddles and reach this place. The fierce deity sword is yours to take, you've earned it. Well, I mean, thanks, but not super helpful considering I literally already had the armor and I already had the sword. Where's this frog? Is it up above? I mean, it, it could be up above. Because, like, this this is a cave. Where, where would it be? Bubble frog. Oh, bubble frog. Man, everything looks the same. Everything looks the same. Let me just, I mean, again, if it's too, if, it, if I'm searching for too long, future me can be like, oh, Bubble Frog is here, 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 and here. Okay, yeah, I, I give up. I'm not trying to find it. Let's go Garonby River. Isn't there, I remember when I was editing one of the last videos, when I was back here in the first time, isn't there a side quest? Yeah, you do. Nothing finer in Rock Roast. What do you need? Welcome to Bedrock Bistro. Ours is the finest restaurant in Hyrule, specializing in gourmet roasts. Whether you're a Goron or a Hylian, I have every confidence you'll be salivating for more. If you're hankering for a steak, please order directly from the grill. I have to say, though, I'm relieved you're a Hylian. Right now, a rock roast is in short supply, and I don't know if I have enough to keep up with the demands for the Gorons. I can't go in and get more supplies myself at the moment, so I'm in a bit of a bind. May I offer? What do you need? Where do you need where do you need me to go? He said if you bring Oh, it's said that if you bring Chef Cook a rock roast, he'll treat you to a special dish. Where Where would I find a rock roast? And can I just take this one? Probably not. That's still cooking on the flame. It's piping hot. Okay, I, I'm sorry. Okay, I can't go get that one. Don't I have... Can I equip a shield and a shield? Because, like, I have my sword shield. I have my sword shield and I have my shield shield. So we have, like, double shield action. We have... we, we At the moment, Link is currently equipped with not only a bow, a giant broadsword with a shield taped to the broadsword... And then a secondary shield, which he strapped a minecart to. This dude is strong as heck. He's also probably at some point going to break his back. Because, you know, like, all of that weight on your spine, not good. Wasn't there a cave around here? Pretty sure there was a cave around here with, like, like the, the corrupted rock roasts. I wonder if we can go back in there. We can get more rock roasts. And then don't I have... I have... The hot helmet. That's good. Put that on. That'll help. Let's see if we can't get 
let's see if we can't really quickly get that dude a wonderful rock roast for him. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. I do love this minecart shield. Yeah, normal. Normal rock roasts. How incredible. Can I just, just yoink one of these and bring it back to him? And then we can just put the, the, the rail cart right on the tracks. Oh, that bubble... Oh, the bubble frog is probably in there, and we never actually... We probably never actually got it out. Uh, actually, I am going to take... I am going to take this rock roast over there. I Don't I have a cobble crusher? I do. I can just use the cobble crusher to break this. There we go. It's not a frog. Why, why no frog? Why no frog? Ruby... I wanted frog. I can't believe it. There was I, That's exactly where I would have put a frog. I'm also going to burn myself alive if I'm not careful. Because I'm missing the bubble frog in this cave. Did I just miss one back here? Maybe. I can't believe this. I can't believe this at all. I suppose it's not the biggest of deals. Eyes peeled for bubble frogs. Maybe it's up in the rafters. What's that up there? No. I suppose it doesn't matter. Like I said, future me, it's your problem. Deal with finding all of the frogs. We're going to bring this rock roast back to our lovely friend. Oh, right. This, right, the bouncy, the bouncy equipment. Gotta love our scepters that seal the darkness. Hello, my Goron friend. I have this wonderful bit of equipment. Oh, right. Pro you probably want it, you know, untouched here. Happy birthday. Oh, it's floating at the moment. Oh, sir, that rock rose there. Could I have it? If you give it to me, I'll whip up our special dish just for you. Yeah, you can have it. It's not like I can eat rocks. Well, I mean, I can, but they ha I have to prepare them in a special way. Wonderful, thank you so much. To show my gratitude, here's the special dish I promised. Seared gourmet steak? I mean, I, I, I mean, for the amount of work I put into it, seared gourmet steak is probably an appropriate reward, but I mean, like, no additional seasonings? I mean, like, I, it's like, you don't need a lot of seasoning for, like, a good steak, but, like, none at all? Not even a pinch of salt? I mean, it's, I mean the Gorox, that's, that's like the one rock that Hylians can eat normally. I don't have enough rock rose. Bring me more and I'll whip you up something nice. Alright, well that's another one. Uh, don't... Here, I got you a portable fan. This dude does... This dude is really concerned about, you know, wind and fans. I mean, as long as you're having a good day, Cook, you can melt, melt the cart down, make some cutlery. I don't know what you want to do with it, but it's all yours. Who are you? Yeah, not dealing with you. Let's go find that cave. I got distracted, but that, you know, that happens. <laughs>